Hi guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer's tutorial. So today we're going to be talking about how to use the symbols panel. Learning about that right after this. Before we get started, I would like you to look in the description and there's a download file. You can click on the link and it will start downloading and then you can open it and it will be this file and then you can start working along with me. So what we have here is a bunch of octagons and they're all connected with symbols. So if I click on one here and move this around there, as you can tell, um, moves each one around because it's connected with symbols. So I'm going to show you how to create something like this or with any of your designs. It doesn't really matter what type of shape it is or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this group and start all over again. So to do this, I'm just going to draw a polygon, Hit hold down shift, so it'll be constrained. And then I'm going to turn up the sides to 6. Okay, so now it looks a little bit more like a pentagon. And I mean, now it looks a little bit more like a, now it's a hexagon, so... Um, and I guess that's a good color. I guess that's a fine color. So I'm going to start um, copying them. But before I start copying them, I'm going to go over to the symbols panel. And I'm going to delete this symbol. And the way how you um, start using symbols is you click create. And so this is your symbol here that shows up over here. So you go back to your layers panel and you'll see a little orange mark and inside is going to be your symbol and anything you add here is going to be um, changing on each one of these symbols. Okay so now that I've got that all cropped I'm going to go in here and here are all the layers and you can go and select on one, each of the color in it is changed. So, as in the uh, beginning one, I had like little little highlights on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you how to create highlights. So you click on one of these symbols and expand it. And then I'm going to go ahead and select it. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle and it's going to go in this symbol group type thing and then that means it will be drawn on each each of the other so the key for this is to have this the new one inside this inside one of the symbol layer layer group type things so as you can tell, whenever um, you come in the symbols and click create on the layers panel, it creates um, a symbol group type thing, and then you can open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so there's also some other features in the symbols panel. Um, so you click on symbols panel and click sync to turn it off and it won't be synced and then you can click on this and change it and none of the others will be changed and since you have changed it it will now be the only one changed in the whole thing and also when you turn sync back on over here you can still try to move it but since you've already moved it it does not do anything now if you were to click on this one it would still move the other ones because it you haven't turned off sync and that also deletes that property so there's the resizing and moving property there's the color property and um, changing the shape property so there's a bunch of different properties here also if you want to totally de detach all the properties not just one you click on a single one and click detach 
and it will then be t detached from the thing. You can move it all around, even when it's synced, and it won't do anything. You can change color, and it will be detached. Also, there is one more thing um, I would like to show you. The symbols panel is very useful for if you're doing some type of design. It's also there's also the color properties, so I'm going to come over here and select one of these guys. And let's say I want this to be the only one that's orange. And I'm so I'm going to change these to uh, another color, a darker green. And as you can tell, it changed everything but this because it was detached. Also, you can do gradients. You can do lines, pen tool, anything you want, just so it's in this layer. If I move that, I grab that curve, curve, and brought it into the symbols. It and brought it into the symbol layer. Then each of them will have it. So I'm just. So this is just um, a tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. It's actually an update from my last one. Um, but uh, works with uh, paintbrush tool. Works with any of these tools. Um, you can round the corners on these things. Uh, and so um, it works for like anything. You can add text and it will add it to each every single one unless you turn off sync or detach it. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope I hope it helped you and if you have any questions please um, put them in the comments below and also if you want more affinity designer tutorials like this one please subscribe to my channel and also I want to see how many likes I can get so please uh, give me a thumbs up and I hope you have a good day.